He's a humper. A big one. Look out to stop him. There. To the fog. See ya? Stand clear! Off the port! Stand clear! Look out! She's moving in! Two degrees, starboard. Two degrees. Aye, aye, sir. Done, if I say so myself. That's a great trick. Are you, Stuart? Sir? We should require a bottle of whiskey. Your best. <clears throat> sorry, sir, but, uh... Sorry? What do you mean you're sorry? Just bring the whiskey at once. Ship's regulations, sir. Uh, we're not allowed to serve spirits to minors. There's always ship's regulations for something. Always. Here. Now, I don't want to hear any more arguments or excuses. Just bring the whiskey at once. I'll just remind you, my father not only owns this ship, but he's also chairman of the Green Line. <clears throat> yes, sir. Isn't it amazing how cooperative they get? Or when they want to be. <laughs> <laughs> now, who's got another cigarette? Who is it? Not the chain kid again. Yes. Look what he gave me for a bottle of whiskey. Blimey, two weeks wages. Says he's going back to England to resume his education. To save the Queen. What did I tell him about the whiskey? Tell him I closed. No more spirits. Listen, there they go again. All that blasted horn blowing. It's enough to drive you crazy. They have to do it. What's that? The foghorn warns the fishing boats. There's a whole fleet of them out there somewhere. Going to the Grand Banks. They don't want to hit one. Hey, wouldn't that be something? I mean, if we just happened to run one down. Come on, let's go out and take a look. They're all around us, the captain says. Yes, but the fog's so thick, I bet we can't see a thing. Listen. You. Stuart, where's our whiskey? <coughs> sorry, sir, uh, but the liquor cabinet is closed. Then open it. Uh, sorry. Look, don't you understand, you bonehead? The rules on this ship are made by my father. I can break them if I wish to. Here you are, sir. Your money. Do you think you can make a fool out of me in front of my friends? Oh, no, sir. Look, if you don't bring that whiskey at once, do you know what I'm going to do? I have a suggestion, sir. Jump overboard. Harvey, is that you, son? Uh, you, stay there. Harvey, your mother isn't feeling well. I'd like you to come to the stateroom and read to her. Of course, Father, but I must tell you first that, well, this steward demanded a bribe for a packet of cigarettes. Oh, Harvey, you know your mother doesn't approve of your smoking. Look, he still has the money in his hand. Twenty dollars, and he won't give it back. This ain't no bribe, sir. It was for whiskey, and the boy... That's a lie. It was a bribe, wasn't it? You see? Harvey, I want you to be absolutely certain of this charge, because if it is true, this steward will be dismissed. Of course I'm certain. What's your name? Phillips, sir. Very well, Phillips. I'll notify the captain. We'll get to the bottom of this. Harvey, 
Come along. Keep the change. And we've got to get this here thing straightened up, sir. The boy wanted the whiskey, sir. And the money was to pay for it. I swear to you, sir, on my sacred oath. Phillips gave me the word, and I put out the order, no whiskey. And that's all of it, sir. I swear to you, on my oath. Well, Harvey, what have you got to say for yourself? It was a, a package, a package of cigarettes. Mr. Shane, Mr. Shane. Atkins later. Oh, it's here. urgent, sir. Terribly urgent. We just discovered, sir, just received this dispatch from the wireless. They're trying to block your acquisition of the new line, sir. And when did this come in? This came in a few moments ago, sir. Let's see the contracts. I have them. All right, let's have the 18th. You 18th, have the 18th. 19th, and 20th. Just look at this petition. What about it? Attic can do that, yes, sir. It's a newly formed international cartel, but I've discovered their Paris contact. And I think we can help them. I got you. Up you go. Over the side. Easy. It's all right. I got you. Capagnaste, eh? What we got? Oh. You one big fish, eh? Hey, fish. You feel some pretty well now, eh? I am Manel. From Schooner, we're here out of uh, Gloucester. How come you fall out of big boat, eh? No, 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 lie still, so we, we trim better. Comprende? Well, I think maybe you not die this time, big fish. Maybe. Uh. Hey, Capitão! Capitão Trupa! Look here what I caught! See? It's a big one! A tiro mar! You think I best uh, throw him back in? Hey? Bring him aboard! Sure, sure, if you want him! Big, oh, big stay. fish! We got a passenger! Take this. It's coffee. Go on, drink it. Is there any milk? Nope. Won't be till September anyways. I dried your clothes. I guess they shrunk some. Who are you? My name's Dan. Long Jack's my uncle. He got me this berth. Long Jack? He's a fisherman. Me, I ain't a real fisherman yet, but I do everything else on this packet and then some, I can tell you. Hey, don't you know? You're on a fishing schooner, the we're here, out of Gloucester. Fishing up to the banks. Look, it ain't bad coffee. Cook made it. So drink up, because Captain's waiting up on deck. He wants to see you. You better hurry, he's waiting. What's the matter? Your captain. 
Yeah? What's his name? Disco Troop. Will you tell Captain Troop, if he's so anxious to see me, he can just come on down here? <laughs> you mean that? Of course I mean it. <laughs> hey, Captain! The boy says you can come down here and see him yourself if you're anxious that way. Quit pulling Danny and send him up! Park you now. Are you the captain? See here now, my good fellow. What do they call you, young fella? I am Harvey Chain Jr., the son of Harvey Chain Sr. Yeah, well, that much figures all right. It was an accident. I mean, I just happened to fall off my father's ocean liner on its way to Europe. Oh, is that a fact? I insist that you take me to New York at once. And my father will pay you any sum you choose to name. <laughs> Did you hear me, Captain? Yes, I heard you. But how did you come to fall off in a dead flat calm? It wasn't a calm. It was a gale. And I was a little seasick. Well, can't say I think special on that excuse. Mm -hmm. Excuse? Do you think I'd fall overboard onto your dirty little boat for fun? Well, now look here, Sonny. I wouldn't call the boat which under Providence was a means of saving your names. You see, it's not only sacrilegious, it's annoying to my feelings. I don't care about your feelings. Now, the sooner you take me back to New York, the better it'll pay you. Meaning how? Dollars and cents. You don't know how lucky you are. I'm all the son Harvey Chain has. Yeah, he's been favored, I think. Don't you really know who Harvey Chain is? Nope. Well, you'll soon find out. Now, turn this boat around and let's hurry. Easy now. Take a reef in your stomach, young fella. How long will it take us to get to New York? Don't use New York nor Boston either. You'll be paid. Could be I might. Might even get $10 after all your talk. And of course, I made it. $10? Why, I can show you more than $10 myself. Look! Well? Ah, oh, cigarettes, that's not lawful currency. So why don't you just heave them overboard and try again? It's been stolen. A hundred dollars stolen. Give them back! You know, what would a young fellow like you be doing with a hundred dollars? It was part of my pocket money for a month. Hey, come here. Falling over like that. You don't remember hitting your head on anything, do you? Certainly not. Well, doesn't matter anyway. We ain't going back. As a matter of fact, we just came out here working for our bread. And with any good luck at all, we should be going back about the first weeks of September. It's only June now. So be it. I can't stay here. I can't. Look, all you do is help Danny there and such like. You do as he bids you. And I'll pay you. I'll pay you ten dollars a month. Who knows, maybe a little work will ease up your head. I demand you take me to New York at once. Hey, they're coming in, Danny. Come on, get things ready. Well? Look, do you think we'd give up a whole season just for you? A whole season's catch and eight men's bread? Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. My father will give you enough money to buy this dirty little fish kettle ten times over. We'll see, come September. I want my money back. 
The money you stole! Harvey, Harvey, you call Captain Troop a thief now, two times over. And he won't take that from any living being. He's a thief! Thief! You know, Dene, he just seems kind of unneighborly. Now, just make sure you sense what I tell you now, boy. It's $10 a month, see, for to work with Dan, and maybe to learn something, and for the sake of your health, too. You can't make me do a thing. In fact, if you don't take me to New York immediately, I'm going to have you arrested for stealing. You are a thief. You were saying, boy? Well, so be it. It's all right, don't worry. Huh? Look, once you get to working with me, it'll go real fast, I promise. Long Jack, bring him in! Bring him all in! Ah, yes! Shiver me timbers, I got some more here for you. When are we going to be Dory mates? Pitch him, Bunchy. Don't scatter him. Keep him, Bunchy. Who the devil's scattering you, Pensy Dutch farmer? Knife all done. And don't be cursing farmers. Clark, you sworn him even down there? Me? You asking me? I could stow ballast even in a northeast gale. I could stow Damascus figs even in a humpback wheel. All right, stop talking and start working. Reminds me of the northeast of 10 years ago when I was a crew on a South Boston market boat. We were heading for... Uh, listen, we heard that story before, Long Jack. It was right off Minot's ledge when she came down on us. you never seen anything like it. There he goes again. Listen to that chin wagger and his big nor'easter, and I'll be darned if he can't even pinch him bunty. <laughs> you split him good, farmer. I'll do the pitching. All hands heave the mainsail. <laughs> and the devil's going to take you like that. Maybe some day I light candle for you, Long Jack, but the demonio, the devil, would take you anyway. Try this. Go ahead, eat. It's good. That's a lot of work. For nothing. Work? All that heavy labor with the fish. You don't do that every day, do you? 
For me? Us? Oh, no. No, no. Sometimes we get some very smart fish on this packet. And these smart fish, they jump aboard, they cut themselves open, they hop into the salt tubs, they level themselves off in a hold, just waiting for us to take them right back to Gloucester. But of course, these fish, they're the very smart fish. Eh? <laughs> I still think it's a lot of work. Well, isn't it? Well, of course it is. What you see, that's what we do. We fish. We're fishermen, do you understand? Tastes good, doesn't it? Come in. Come in. Let me show you something. Nice. A knife. Any knife gets dull fast. Now, this is oakum. You run it through the oakum, like this. Stone. See that? See how easy it is? Now, all you've got to do is sharpen these knives, and you can go down and eat with the rest of us. And I want to tell you, on my schooner, I ship the best cook of any schooner on the banks. The best. Everybody will tell you that. Doc down there, he is the best. You see, a person will have to be dumb stupid not to take advantage of it. Just for doing a little bit of work. Go ahead, huh? You try. Come on. Good. Good, good. his fingers. Move lively now. Move them out. Let's go, boys. Let's, Let's go. get them out now. We're moving. All right, clear down. Clear. Oh, higher. Higher. Ah, that's good. Come on, boys. Let's fish. Wanna come? Come on. Got all my chores done, Captain. Can I go overside a piece? Keep an eye on handy. I will. I can row. Well, you can help yourself, but first let down this line, nice and slow, and do just as I do. I brought it out home in Long Island. Well, suit yourself. Let her down easy. Let her down some more. Oh, 
that's no way of getting into a boat. You gotta learn to meet her. Steady. Look out, careful. What are you doing? Where's the passenger? He's fishing. <laughs> hey, look out, Portuguese! Ship your oar! Hey, this go. What do you think, eh? Looks, Looks good, good Danny. Fisherman. New fisherman we got, sir. Captain, we got 29 total. Harvey here got 12. You think he's catching on? Oh, he's getting a feel for it, all right. All right, let's sign him on. No, you won't. Hey, Harvey! Are you crazy? Danny, Danny, Harvey, you Harvey, what are you doing? They're my fish. I caught them. I can do what I want. What are you doing there, boy? Oh, suit yourself. Make a no sense at all. What are you doing? Stop him. Hey, big fish. Stop it. He's a Jonah, Disco. We got ourselves a Jonah. We gotta get rid of him before his bad luck takes hold. up here for you. Come on, go below. Did you notice we got a short catch today? All of us, and I can tell you why. We got a Jonah here. A Jonah. Can I go over side a piece? Keep lying handy. I will. Want me to row? Nope. I've got the trick of it now. No thanks. Hey, I don't mind helping you. That's different. I'm just not working for Captain Troop, that's all. Not until he gives me back my hundred dollars. You still calling Captain Troop a thief? My money's gone, isn't it? Look, just don't say it again. I don't see why. Just because he's the captain, that doesn't mean he couldn't have reached into my pocket. Take him up. Oh. It's Dan. It's my Dan. Hit him back, Dan. Don't stop. Keep punching. Keep hey, him there. Fight! Keep fight him there. Boys are at it. Go on, Dan. Hold him down, Dan. That's it, Dan. 
Look out for his right. Now, what have I told you? Huh? If there's a quarrel, you come to me. If there's one rule I've got in this packet, it's a no-fight rule. Then look at you. Does he know the rules? He sure does, this court. He does, huh? All right. Go to your bunk. There'll be no food to pay for you on this day. Get below. And you... I can't put any blame on you, as you don't know any better. But it's plain to everyone here now that you're distracted. Up here. Up in the upper works. Now, let me tell you this. From now on, you stay out of my way. I was just wondering. What? Well, if you're okay. Of course I'm okay. You've sure got a hard wallop. Dan. Look, I don't want to hear anymore. Can't you see for yourself the captain's a fisherman? Disco Troop is the best darn fisherman on the banks. He's deep as a whale hole when it comes to fish. He can feel them in his bones when they're 12 miles away. He ain't no liar and he ain't no cheat. He sure as the dickens ain't no thief. All right. It seems to me you've already made that pretty clear. Well, he ain't. Okay, I... You what? I'm sorry. Look, got something. Hmm? Fried pie. Do you really think I could eat that? Aren't you hungry? I snitched it for you. You was there. You heard the captain same as I did. He said no food. And I wouldn't break that order for anything in the world. Can't you even understand that? Well, look, I... just go away, will you? Just get out of here. I don't want to talk to you. Go on, get out. Well, go on. I think, um... Big fish like you, better go now. Not bother good working man. Troop, about the fight, I... Well, it wasn't Dan. I mean, he... What started it? I called you a thief, so that's why. Anyway, it wasn't Dan's fault. Captain Troop, I don't believe it anymore. I mean, you're being a thief. I think I told you to stay away. 
So just do what I say or there's going to be trouble, do you understand? Real trouble.
Sneaky! Sneaky! Breakfast on! Breakfast! Well, what do we got? Can't figure it. You Portuguese fellas, you never seem to die off like the rest of us. You want to know why so few of us are Portuguese and men ever drown? Hmm? Because of Nossa Senhora Virgin Maria. Our blessed Virgin Mary, that is why. We uh, light candles at the Virgin Mary of our church on the hill. And I tell you, it... Sit down. You're not hungry? Come, sentate, sentate. Come, sit down. Come on, sit down. The dog, you give food to the working man, mm -hmm. eh? Hmm. And maybe you come light a candle with my nails on the day, eh? Are you a Roman Catholic? Me? Me? I'm a Madeira man. Not Puerto Pico boy. Shall I be Protestant then, huh? B Baptist? Por qué? The good Virgin Maria never forget Monet. Nunca. Never. Well, I don't sense it that way myself. The sea is just the sea and you get exactly what's going. Handles care sea and it really doesn't matter. Isn't that right, Doctor? Can't he talk? Enough to get along all right. His natural tongue's kind of curious. He comes from Cape Breton, where the farmers all speak homemade scotch. That's not scotch, it's Gaelic. I read that in a book somewhere. What's riding, Disco? Canvas, winds up, nothing swimming. Boy, I tell you, there's nothing in creation deader, flimsy, idler than a banker, which he ain't on fish. Well, not today, ain't no fish. But I figure it's Providence. Why? Well, it seems like we still got a passenger aboard here. And there can be no idleness for them who don't know their ropes. So what do you say, Long Jack? He's old as my dime. It's time. Time? Time enough. Time. All right, Danny. You want to start him? Take my trick this time, Captain. He's all yours, and I do hope he's worth it. All right, he's all mine. Come along. Come on, little bit. Come on, Bucko. Come on, Come let on, us go. Bit. Big, 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 big. Forward lays the windlass. The forecastle stove pipe and the gurry butts to hold the fish livers. All we're teaching here now is what every man's got to know, blind, drunk, or asleep. I call your attention to the peak halyard. You see it? How's that, better? What do you see? Peak, uh, peak halyard. Good, good. Now. That's the deck. That's the wheel. This is the wheel box. That's a door. Block and tackle. Boom. Right hand starboard. Left hand port. Right hand starboard. Left hand port. You do it. Right hand starboard. Left hand port. Good! <laughs> the lad's uh, learning. How do you reef a mainsail? Ah, uh, haul that in. The boom. Then I'd run that rope you showed me back there. No way. Why, he's learning. Doesn't know the name's good yet. Go oh, the reef tackle. I'd hook the tackle onto the reef earring, then let down and heave away. Lower. Lower the sail. Lower the throat and peak halyards. Good, good. Now, I want you to lay your hands on it. 
Good, good. <laughs> now, every line you see here's got a purpose. And what you're doing, what you're learning here, is gonna put money in your pockets. And when I filled you out, you'll be able to ship from Boston to Cuba and back again. That's right, lad. You just tell them disco land you and you'll be able to get yourself a berth anywhere. You know, I do believe, Tom, he could be worth his salt before he drowns. Never! Never make a fisherman out of red knickers and bicycle shoes. Gee, I never thought of that, soldiers. You know, I think you've got something there. Yes, Hata, New Bedford, we shortly must clear. We're whalers that never see wheat in the air. Wheat in the air, my true love's posies blowing. Wheat in the air, we're going off to sea. Wheat in the ear, I left you fit for so And when I come back, a loaf of bread you'll be. That's put me to sleep. <laughs> sad, sad. Never mind that now, Penn. You come with me, and we'll oil up that grunting windlass. Is Penn all right? He's not quite all corked, if that's what you mean. Corked? Uh huh. His minds give out. You see, the man was once a preacher, and he. And his wife and kids, they live in Pennsylvania, a town there called Johnstown. And along come this great big flood. And little Penn, he just stood by helpless like, saw his whole family drown. Yeah, that's why his minds give out. Yeah, I don't know what he would have done if Salters hadn't come along and given him work on his farm. Farm? Has Salters got a farm? Oh, everlasting farmer. Ah, uh, but he's been shipping out with me, though, off and on for the past 15 years. He got me to take Penn aboard. Did you notice, uh, how he took Penn off when he started talking about kids? It's not good to have his mind on kids. He might start thinking of his own, and that would kill him. What about you? Me? Are you over all that foolishness about big wads of money? Good. Wheat in the ear, my true love's posies blowing. Wheat in the ear, we're going off to sea. Wheat in. I left you fit for sowing When I come back A loaf of bread you'll be Just a flicker. Who could it be? Danny. Danny, skip up a piece and see how our troll buoy lays. Aye, Captain. Hang on, 
boys. Hey, Long Jack, who's it look like to you? Look sharp. Follow close and do as I do. Grab hold and step lively. That's the way. Keep moving. Don't stop and keep a good hold. Don't look down. Here, hitch yourself on. Can you tell? Looks like the roseway. Ain't an anchor man can hold the roseway down. She's a drifter like you never seen. She'll drift anywheres. Captain Bush! You have the honor of addressing the same. Clear away! We don't fool with drifters. You're a menace to the whole fleet. On this trip, there's been no drifting on this trip. Is that so? Well, then by thunder, answer me this. What are you doing with the new chip boom? <laughs> Run at him, you! <laughs> Run at you! She's worse than a drifter. She's a Jonah. What's a Jonah? Jonah? That's anything that spoils the luck. I got to thinking you was a Jonah for a while, but Doc said no. The cook? Yeah, he knows every time. How? He's deep, that's all. Deep as a whale hole. Come on. Watch the compass. The left. Keep your eye out. Keep your eye out. The left. in a nest of other shoals. Now, here's where we wet the balance of our salt, level the hold, and then work our way towards home. How can you find a tiny pinhole like that? Oh, you give me a hog yoke and a lead, and I'll find your pinhole in the wheel's belly. Yes, sir, the old virgin. Here's where we start working. Start? Yes, yeah, start. There'll be no more regular meals when we get there. We'll mug up when we're good and hungry, and we'll sleep when... We can't stay awake no more. How much longer till we get there? How much longer? Oh, I'd say uh, four more days if our luck holds up. And that means, well, no weather and no fog. I'll take over for a while. Oh, thanks. Madeira. Eh? What? You said Madeira. No, no. Madeira. Madeira, where I was born. And some a day, maybe, if all the fish do not eat me, it is where I will die. Don't you miss it? What I miss, uh, Big Fisher, is the vino, the wine, and the most beautiful girls anywhere in all the world. And they like Manel, too. Oh, you bet. Plenty. Beautiful. But you stay here, on the sea. Let me tell you something. Hey. A man does not live to, to drink a wine. Love pretty girls. Now, he live 
to make himself feel like a man. Eh? To work. And to say to fellow upstairs, hey, look at here. Manel, good a working man, and someday you make a good place for him, eh? So, pescar, to fish. That is what I do. That is what we all do. Comprende me? Something wrong. Shh. Danny, hold. There she be. The bell, Danny, the bell. What is it? The same as you fell off of. An ocean liner going someplace. Blast them all. You know what they do? They don't care about us fishing boats. They slow down, see? One turn of their blasted propeller, one turn just to stay inside the law. And they think that's enough. They think that's console. While we're all at the bottom. Ah, oh, she's coming on! She's a humper! See him out there. On, He's not that far off. They can't last long out there. Pull it up. Pull it up. Main de Deus, they are coming back. The Abby Darren, she's cut clean in half. We got the old man, but there weren't no one else. They sunk the schooner. All hands drowned. Except the captain here. Son is gone. He's gone. Now let me die. The Lord giveth and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm a minister of the gospel. No pen. Wait. Then pray him back to me if he be a minister. Pray my son back to me. Pray. This man's son. My own children were drowned before my eyes. And my beloved, shall a man be more wise than his maker? I prayed never for their lives. Never. But I pray now for this man's son. And surely, surely, he will be sent him. He will be sent. Oh. 
How long have I been mad? You ain't mad, Penn. Only a little distracted, like. Now, you've been with us off and on for the past five years. A charity to which man? Salter's here. You ain't, Penn. You ain't. Disco! Captain Disco Troop! Sounds like Captain Bush on the Roseway. Stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord. Captain Bush, we found Jason Oley. The rest are gone, lost. Not all, Disco, not all. We found one stalled in a mess of lumber that might have been a foxhole. His head's cut some, but he's all right. Who is he? It's young Oli, the captain's son. Santa Maria, men de Deus. We was drifting, tell you the truth. Lost our anchor when we come across young Ollie here, thank God. Tell you what, bring the captain over here. We're short-handed. And besides, he married my woman's aunt. I'll send him along. Careful, Olney. I don't understand. What? Have we been fishing here? No, no, Penn. So quiet here. I feel something must have happened. No, nothing happened. So quiet. I can't figure it. Uh, don't try. You come with me and we'll have a game of checkers. <laughs> oh, now, that's that's just the thing. Uh, you know, it beats all, Salters, how, how you get on to, to what's in a man's mind. <laughs> She be. The old virgin just waiting for us. Now there, Souther, that's the Prince Labo. And there, the word. Hmm? There, there, the one with the patch on the foresail, our friend there. That's the Kerry Pittman. And over there, over there, that's the Hope of Prague. She's fastest, and she can find fish in a graveyard, but she never beat us yet. Never beat us yet. All right, over you go, boys. Come on. We're wasting time. That's it. Fly from the rest. Get out of there. Get at them. If we don't get a full cash first, my name ain't this go true. Which one? I got so many. <laughs> How do you fasten your long cat? He's out of the shop now. Don't scout him, Long Jack. Pitch him, bunch him. You split him. I'll do the pitch. I've ho, Harvey. Oh, mate, just slowing up a bit. That's it, Harvey. Keep him moving. Did I ever tell you about the Nor'easter ten years Not ago? Not now, Long Jack. Not now. Where are you going, Disco? Pay my respects. 
Man died on the Frenchman, Freemason, therefore my brother. Can I come? Yeah, if you want. Go ahead, boy. What happened to him? Oh, a wave doubled him over the heel of the bowsprit. Broke his back. Lower away, lower away. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nos pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort, ainsi soit-il. Gloire soit au Père, au Fils, au Saint-Esprit. Oh, they tossed him over yesterday morning. The French say prayers for a week. What's that? Well, I guess it could be the dead man's kid. Gloire du Père et du Fils et du Saint-Esprit, ainsi soit-il. Excusez, oui. est-ce que cela appartient à celui qui est mort Oui, il n'y a pas de famille. On va vendre tout le lot aux autres. Merci. Il n'y a pas de famille. Vous parlez français Un peu. Où avez-vous pris ça Dans mes études, c'est autour. Le dead man n'a pas de famille. Ils vont vendre ça à l'auction. some talking to do with your family. No. Well, now, look here, you he can't just... He won't let me go. My father would never let me go. He'd buy you out first. Well, how's that? He'd buy this schooner and the whole crew if he had to, and pay you double for it. Now, you ain't talking that crazy money talk again, are you? It's true, Captain. I swear. He really does have money. He's a millionaire. He owns a railroad and a steamship line and all sorts of things. He sends me to Europe to study. And that's where I learned French. And he's just so rich that... You've got to believe me, Captain. You've got to. He's a millionaire? A hundred times over. I wouldn't lie to you, Captain. And I'm not crazy. He's just plain rich. Well... He'd buy you out in a second. Nobody buys me out. He would. Nobody. You just don't understand how rich and... Awfully is. Now, what kind of a cheap beggar do you take me for? Is that what you think of me? You can buy me off, buy me off with a handful of money? <laughs> by thunder. You work on this packet for three months and you don't even owe Disco Troop at all. Nothing. I'm just trying to... You get out of here. I'm working. I'm 
sorry. I just want to stay here, that's all. Just go. Oh. Just go. Have you seen little Ben anywhere? No. He was playing checkers and he just got up and walked out. out of Gloucester. But he doesn't move. He has nobody's eyes. Do you think he's... I don't know. But there's nothing more we can do for now. Dan!
Couldn't you do anything about it? Mr. Chain! Mr. Chain! Good heavens, look, what the devil's got into you? We're having a conference. It's a telegram, Mr. Chain. It's the most extraordinary. Get hold of yourself, man. I don't care if it's yeah, the best. I came over as soon as it arrived. Hey! Listen, please. Picked up by fishing schooner, having fallen off boat, waiting Gloucester Mass, care of Disco Troop. And it's signed, Harvey. Could this be some kind of a hoax? Oh, for what reason, Mr. Chin? Why would anyone want to do such a thing? How could anyone be so cruel? No, it, it must be the boy, all right. It, it's your son. He's alive. Badly. Get me transportation. Myself and my wife to Gloucester Mass immediately. And we'll take the private rail car. I see if you can... I wonder. I wonder. We should be able to take it? Mr. Chin. the only medical statement I ever heard with any truth in it is joy never kills. is still in a coma. There's no change. His pulse is very weak. If you like, you can go on waiting, but there's nothing to report. I go now to light uh, the candles. Four candles for him. My father, and my own brother, two nephews, my second sister's man, they're all out there somewhere. She took them all in one season, not five years ago. Look at her now. So calm, quiet. But every season, she takes more than a hundred from Gloucester alone. Men and boys. One hundred. Year after year. Me. I wouldn't trade places with any man. It's what I do. It's what I am. But you. It's something you've got to think hard upon. It's more than just thinking it's fried pies, getting the salt all wetted down. Do you understand? Well, I... I think I'll help Manuel light some candles. Who knows, maybe he's got something there. Your mother's waiting at the hotel. No. What? I can't leave here now. I can't talk to you now. 
Oh, Rita, did you hear me? Your mother's waiting. Uh, tell her I'm all right. Why not? I can't. I, I just, please. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's that boy in there, isn't it? Well, I know all about it. In fact, I just talked to somebody in there. A strange name, Long Jack or something. Anyway, I want to tell you, I want to promise you. I'll send to New York for the very finest doctors there are. You can't buy him back. Oh, Nobody can buy him back. Oh, no, I didn't mean that I could. Sorry. Please, just leave me alone. Harvey, wait. I Shirt. I'll go get it. No, you don't have to. Evie's gone for it. Did I not tell you, eh? Quattro vela, four candles. And I say to him upstairs, I say, you make a, this a boy a fisher again, and Manel, he not chase after pretty girls no more. Uh, for one year. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say anything about me? He said he hoped you hadn't gone home yet. That's all. Harv, come along with me. Come on, I'll take you back to the hotel. Your folk. Oh. <laughs> oh. Darling, we'd given up hope. We. Why didn't you tell Mr. Troop right away who you were? Captain Troop? I should have told him to put you ashore. Oh, I did. But he thought I was crazy when I refused to work. Can you imagine refusing to work on a fishing packet, going to the Grand Banks? Oh, my poor darling. It's a wonder your nervous system isn't completely wrecked. Why? I worked like a horse and ate like a hog and slept like a dead man. And I can handle a door in, take my trick in light winds, and you'd be surprised how much work there is in ten a month. Eight and a half. What? I started out myself with eight and a half. I didn't know that. You never ask me. Anyway, next time out, I'll be more seasoned. Next time. Um, uh, Harvey, uh, your mother's very tired. Let's go back to the hotel now. Oh, yes. Come. And, uh, what was your starting wage, Disco? Huh? Eight and a half.
south. The boy you got there, you think he's worth his keep? Well, he was kind of super cargo at first, but now he's by way of being a fisherman. A boy pretending to be a man? That's how we all begin. Hey! Boys cheating themselves into thinking they're men, and so until we die. Oh. Well, if you could tell me something, Captain. This lad called Danny. Any idea what plans have been made for him? Well, you'll have to talk to Long Jack about that. But I calculate he'll be shipping out before long. One leg ain't gonna stop him any. And you know, it wouldn't surprise me if he didn't take over this packet. When Long Jack and me are just laid by. <laughs> I'll tell you why I'm asking. I think I could give him all the salt water he needs till he's a skipper. Why? How, how's that? It? What's the total, Harv? 865, that's uh, 3,676 and a quarter. Good. Good. Hey. Skipper? Well, I, um, I happen to have this line of T-clippers, the Blue M line, out of San Francisco to Yokohama. They're iron-built, about 1,700 tons apiece. Yeah, I heard. They're well-found packets. What I'm proposing is entirely up to Danny, Long Jack, of course, but if I could have Danny for a year or so, I could get him his semen papers and make a mate out of him. What do you think? Are you serious? Of course. We have nothing else in mind. No, sir. Well, any boy his age would jump at a chance like that. But it's a risk. A risk? Mm-hmm. Taking on a raw boy like Danny with one leg to boot. I know a man, Captain Trooper, did a lot more for me. My own boy, as you may know, was on his way to Europe three months ago to further his education. But that boy, quite frankly, wasn't worth a hoot. In fact, that boy was lost overboard. He never came back. He's been replaced, though, by a fine young man. I certainly don't want to lose him as well. Well, that depends, sir, on the course you set for me. I'm going to make a proposal, Captain. I'd like your advice. No, no, the we're here ain't for sale. The we're, the we're here? Well, what would I want with your schooner? No, really, Captain, you see, I'd, I'd like to give those same two years to Harvey, the same as Danny. They can ship out together, they can learn together. Harvey can find out what he really wants to do on his own. After that, well, it's up to him. Our ship out with Danny? <laughs> Together, them two could take on the whole world. Harv! Give me the total. 909, that's uh, 4,012. Good. <laughs> Dan. Harve. It was two years, all right, for Harvey and me. Worked on the Green Line from San Francisco to Yokohama. And then, well, Harve went off to Boston University, and I shipped on a tea clipper with my Siemens papers all signed and sealed. Harvey, he, well, later on he took a wife. But I ain't been so lucky that way. I guess you might say the sea's my wife. Right now, Harvey's running the green line. He's boss, and I'm his skipper. 